Radio Shouty. Gotta ask you about, man, that vice versa. Yeah. When you threw the ad lib on there with that, yeah. yeah. Did you know that it was going down when you was playing that thing back? And then when you came up with the concept, what made you go ahead and take it that way with the concept? Man, the whole song, that vice versa, man, uh, I was just moving out of my parents' crib, man. I was just going to college for myself, being my own man. Yeah. You know, and growing up under the protection of a pastor, growing, you know what I mean? I grew up, my father was a pastor, you know, yeah. when I was in the church like that, man. I had that protection yeah. because I was the pastor's kid, you know what I mean? I was really protected. Yeah. But down in Augusta, I ain't had that protection no more. I was out there in the real world. Exactly. I had to fend for myself. Yeah. And as I got out there, man, I saw a lot of the stuff that was good mm -hmm. was bad. Yeah. And a lot of stuff that was bad, motherfuckers felt like was good. Yeah. And man, that song, it haven't been more relevant than today. Mm -hmm. You feel me, man? Mm -hmm. Than today. A little nigga hit me on Twitter the other day and just was like, Troy, I finally understand <laughs> vice versa. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I told him, man, that's good. Yeah. Because it ain't nothing to understand. It's about freeing yourself to get your own understanding. Exactly. That's what that whole thing is about, man. Thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. Not just necessarily rolling with what you hear. Yeah. You know what I mean, man? It might be a little bit different than that. Yeah. When you dropped it, did you know that it was a hit, though? Bro, man. What was so crazy about it, man? The first time that I said it, mm -hmm. I said it as a poem mm -hmm. at college. Mm. My homeboy had got locked up that day, man. I was like, shit, I don't feel like rapping tonight, man. I'm going to take it a different route. You yeah. know what I mean? I could have got fucked up with that nigga that same day. I'm talking about, like, this nigga walks in the trap. Mm. I'm walking behind him. Man, the only thing that stopped me from being side by side with him, I stopped on my little piece of paper, man, and wrote down a little lyric. Man, that nigga walked in that house, bro. My next step is into the yard. Mm -hmm. The knocks hit it. Boom. Mm. This nigga got a felony. Charged over like a half a brick. This shit changed that man's life that day. My next step was in that yard. Only I'm following him on into this house. Exactly. So man, that night, of course I ain't feel like that shit. Yeah. Man, I went on and said that poem. Man, they booed my ass so goddamn <laughs> bad in that motherfucker boy. I'm talking about booed the goddamn shit out of me, man. Yeah. Cause it was just so much they they didn't get it. You know yeah. what I mean? This was a damn Christian school, so yeah. called. Yeah. You know what I mean? But there's more drinking and fucking exactly. and all this shit going on in this motherfucker. You know? Yeah. So, man, I said that joint, and the broad was like, "He the Antichrist? Oh, he the Antichrist?" I was like, "What, shit. bitch? This bitch done called me some heavy shit." Yeah. I was like, "Man, I gotta chill on my suppose I ain't yeah. fucking with this shit for a minute." Mm -hmm. Man, about two, three years later. I heard that beat. Mm. I told the nigga, boy, I got something for this shit. Bro. Yeah. Man, when I rapped that shit, bro, I just rapped that shit. I had been holding it for two years. Yeah. Man, when I finally said that shit, that's why it sounded like that. Yeah. You feel me, yeah. man? Yeah. And then couldn't got down. I couldn't. That wasn't me. Yeah. That wasn't me. Yeah. I couldn't do that shit. Again, goddamn, I tried, man. Them niggas got that man. Try, boy, write another bunch of verses, <laughs> nigga. If it was that easy, nigga, I have ten of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit. How much hell did you catch when you dropped the song in? Man, I didn't really catch a lot of hell from it. Uh -huh. People just latched to it. It was like that was what they was waiting. It was just like so many people was waiting. To say that, yeah. but nobody said it. You yeah. feel me, man? And all it was was a simple question: mm -hmm. What if? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, motherfuckers sit around and ask if questions all goddamn day. Yeah, yeah. So don't goddamn hold my little if question with no more accountability than anybody else. Exactly. Radio shouting. Shout